All right, guys, I'm on the Carnival cruise and I am packing because I forgot to do a video on what I packed to go on a cruise. But right now we're packing. We're on the last day of the cruise. We took a five nights, six days to the Mexican Riviera. So we did Cabo and then we did Ensenada. This is where we're at now. We're at the Ensenada port. We're about to leave shortly. Um, but before we do uh, leave, just wanted to give you a little tour of our room. It's a little messy now, but we did get the double twin bed with the um, bunk bed and a sofa turned into a bed as well. So it's two beds here, two beds there. Very, very tiny, may I add. Um, they barely fit my body. So if you guys are a family of four and you don't want to be mingling together, this is a good choice. Although, like I said, the beds are very, very narrow. And then the bunk bed here is pretty, it's more spacious than ours. And my little one was still laying there. My middle child is in that one, my oldest and me. So um, it's a pretty tight arrangement. As you can see, it gets a little messy. Now we are packing. We are on our last day. And I wanted to show you guys how I packed everything for every occasion. There is formal night. There is, there was a party. We had the um, 80s party. So there's a, quite a few outfits that you need to think of when you are getting on a cruise. And you've got to think about the weather. Like today was super cold and windy. As you can see my hair, we just got back it's a little messy. Um, now, sometimes it is hot. Then you're looking at, you know, SPF cream uh, for sun protection. Then you're looking at, you know, coverall, over overalls. You don't want to be eating in a plain baby suit walking around half butt naked you want to get your you know your overalls um you want to get maybe a change of bathing suit so you don't wear the same thing twice um and then there's other things that i want to talk about so let's get started with what you can fit in a suitcase and what we brought and then i'll kind of talk about different details of different things that you can get to make your room this much more fun -er. so let's get started all right, I have a normal size suitcase here. This is a flight attendant uh, approved. I, I wanna say it's a 19 inch. Um, this is the one that I work with. As you all know, I am a flight attendant for a major US airline. Um, I also purchased these tags. Um, and what's good about these tags is you can actually put your sailing tags, which have the you know, deck number, they have the room number and they tell you if it's front or back. In this case, it's aft, which means it is in the back and the letter corresponds to, I'm not sure yet what that is. It's got your name on there and the cruise ship name as well. And so it also lets you know when you, you know, when you're sailing. So you have a choice to either leave that at the pier and they'll bring it up to your room uh, or you could just bring it with you. In this case, we actually left it so we didn't have too much to bring. And the first thing we did was to go eat upstairs. So to start off, I have all my essentials here and I don't need to go through every single one of them, but I think you guys kind of get an idea. I've got your first aid kit for the whole family. As you can see, we didn't use it, but my daughter did have one and she got a little accident there in uh, Cabo. So she used one of her band-aids, you know, nail kit just in case. Um, mine didn't get a chance to put them on, um, but I wish I did, but I had everything that I needed for that. Then I also brought the Tide so easy you guys can get this on amazon or you can get this literally at any pharmacies i believe um and then you just kind of get there's three of them and you can kind of wash your personal items in the sink then we also have you guys the straws here which i wanted to talk about um if you guys are drinkers or thinking of getting any drinks on board they do not offer straws option so these are little portable straws that you can actually attach to your lanyards so this is my lanyard and again you can also buy lanyards i think they come in sets of two three four five depending on how many you are in your family and once you have that around your neck because you need your card at all times for everything any purchase and this is what it looks like uh, depending on the um the times that you've sailed and it's going to kind of change color we are gold now because we've sailed with carnival quite a few times um and so you can attach your straw here and let me show you what it looks like so i just opened it and then it comes out like that and it's so cute it comes with a little brush inside and as you can see i haven't used it because i'm not a drinker and most of the time i drink water and just use the cup and put my mouth on the cup maybe i shouldn't have i should have just used my straw this extends pretty long it, it extends longer than this but i can't do it with one hand let me try actually hold on 
Okay, this is how long that extends to, which is not bad because you don't want it too long out of your drink. And then you have the little brush that's inside. I don't know if you guys can see the little brush right in there. So you just pull it out and that brush will help you clean. Just take it off before you drink, of course. Uh, but it's kind of nice that you can just put that around your neck. And if you want to go to a pub or a club or anywhere in, let's say, Cabo or any destination, you could just put your straw inside your drink if you don't trust drinking it, you know, out of there, um, out of the, the glass. All right, so that's how I, how it would look, obviously, the other way, but I don't want to show all my information. But this is what it looks like around her neck. Like, yeah, and there goes a little bit about the straw. I put that there. If you are a vlogger like I am, you may need the cat. The cat attaches to your cell phone. And if there's a little bit of wind, for example, if I'm on the balcony here and there's a bit of wind, you can always attach that to your cell phone and it'll block the wind coming through and you can hear what I'm saying in the videos. So this is definitely something to bring along with you. I can't emphasize enough on a lip balms, you guys. Lip balms, please, please, please. The wind is strong on the boat. The sun is scorching hot. Even if it's cold, you need to stay hydrated. So I recommend your lip balm at all times. This is one of the best one I've had in forever. It's called um, Lip Mask Peach. I swear by it. It's made by, uh, it's got a lot of oils. As you can see, coconut oil, jojoba oil, shea butter. Um, it's got beeswax, vitamin E. It is incredible. I love it. It's really, really nice. This is what it looks like. I'm almost done with it. I apply it throughout the whole entire day. I absolutely love it. And it just keeps my lips pretty moisturized. I also use a yummy. Uh, the good thing about that, it just keeps your kind of locks in whatever you're using as a base. And let me show you the applicator, which I absolutely love. This is the applicator, you guys. Look at the thickness of this applicator. Let me try to have it. It's pretty big and it just kind of it glides right on your entire lip and one application covers your entire lip you guys and you're done that easy i absolutely love it i've also um brought my extension stick to put it's a selfie stick actually and it helps to just take videos when you're at the beach and whatnot and i have brought my portable speaker i love my ewa you guys can find it in my description down below i will show you what it looks like once you open it up, this is what you'll find. I love this little speaker. It's so powerful, you guys. Waterproof as well. Charge it the night before. It'll last you a few days. Turn it on. It works with Bluetooth or any phones. Put that on. Leave it at the beach. It's great. It repels water or sand, whatever can get into it. And it's just absolutely amazing. The sound is so cute. Fits in the palm of your hand. Put it in the casing. It's got a little hook. You can hook it to your backpack or inside of your bag and just leave it in there, you guys. I love this. And these are my sock shoes, what they're called. So if I don't feel like putting my shoes and I want to go down to get something to eat or just walk on those old, old carpets and stinky carpets that a million people have walked on, just grab these. They look like shoes. and They're not. They're socks. And you can go and grab whatever you need upstairs and walk around and you're not barefoot, you guys. Always carry my waistband elastic pocket you open it you can put all your essentials and it kind of sticks to your body nice and snug and nobody sees that you're carrying any money or anything and it just straps around you so you can go jogging with it i love this uh, i think this is a must -have. this is a marshy pee it comes in four to five packs i love how it just refreshes your um, suitcases just leave it in this the sun overnight or during the day throw it in your bag and your thing will smell so fresh even if you have like old underwear or or you have like a wet bathing suit this stuff keeps everything fresh in your bag so you just leave it close to your socks or whatnot and it keeps everything super super fresh all right guys you have to get the zomaki joy of life backpack this is fantastic it is waterproof as you can see it's got the little back pocket here of mesh you can put two huge water bottle which we have done i also love the fact that it's got an inside pocket right here you guys and you can zip all of your belonging your personal you know your credit card your id your passport and bring it with you if you'd like at the beach or on an excursion or hiking or whatever it is that you are doing outside of the boat activities you got adjustable straps and the best part is number one it is waterproof this thing can get 
You can get sand on it, water, doesn't matter. It is super water repellent. And the second amazing thing that I love, watch this. What you're gonna do is open this. This turns into a pocket where you can put the entire backpack into it. And let me show you. All right, this is the pocket that I show you. We're gonna start putting everything inside. All right, we're almost done. All right, guys, there goes your backpack. Look how easy. You could just carry it with you if you don't want it on your back right away. And then you turn into, you just open it up, release it, and there you go. So the inside pocket, actually, that is, you know, keeping all your stuff safe, turns into a pocket where you can put your backpack in and just throw it in your bag. Love it. Don't forget your hats. Sun, you guys, is crazy out there. It doesn't matter what kind of hat you have. Just make sure you protect your scalp and uh, your face. I always have a, a battery pack. Uh, this one is, I want to say, I don't know how many megahertz. This one's 10,000 actually. And I love this one because I could see what the percentage is. See, 100%. Most of them don't show you, so you don't really know. And you get a, different plugs here that you can use with your tablets. And it lasts forever. I just charge it and I just throw it in my bag. Another great find, and I, I noticed that I've used a lot on this cruise with the Brita water bottle, you guys. A lot of them are leaking, so this one I suggest is the only one that really worked for us. It has a little filter in here, so if you guys have kids and they're always thirsty, instead of getting water bottles on the go that are like five, six, seven, sometimes ten dollars, just fill it up with water, even if it's water from um you know from public areas or from water fountains you can fill this up and it will filter it so as you open it um you already have filtered water uh it's a little tricky though because if you're trying to drink it this way and the suction movement won't work you have to leave it flat and then suction it it's a great little bottle it was easy for transportation i like that it had a little handle i had it in my backpack that i just showed you and it fit perfectly and it was there the entire time and we had it at the beach too so we didn't have to get pina coladas every time we were thirsty we didn't have to buy at the bar uh, water bottles for everybody this was just great um just fill it up to the max here and it'll filter it as you drink it so don't forget to change your filter every two to three months but we got a brand new bottle and um we actually love the taste of the water so this was a great great line and a great purchase next up these a little extra bags you guys they are wind blows river flows i love these i bought a pack of two i gave one to my daughter which she has right over here <laughs> and she used it over this bag and what i love about them they are super flat and super thin and you can open them up and let's say you've gone shopping all week long and you don't have an extra space there well just open this little guy fill them up with whatever you need and it fills up a lot and it's also waterproof weatherproof so it is a great material just like the backpack fill it up with what you need you can slide it easily right here behind your suitcase handle and you can carry this and have it everywhere um or just like pack it with you it's easy you can put your extra shoes maybe you bought some purses and some chips which have no space in your suitcase just throw that there throw that after the handle and you have your extra bag instead of having a plastic bag that could break so i love this little extra guy uh just in case it comes in handy just in case you guys have extra stuff coming back home because we always do and these come handy like i said my daughter uses hers for the beach um you know you can use them for anything that you would like even taking them to the beach with your towels it's up to you they are great and waterproof and water resistant as well and this is where it goes these were a little rare find you guys these are towels for the beach uh, sands don't stick to it and they dry so fast i bought two of these you guys they are so thin that's the reason why i got them um you know they serve their purpose we don't want our booties in the sand these are great they're super big um i love how they take no space in my suitcase and they are beautiful and they were large and my kids and i were able to all sit on them look how beautiful and how big and like i said they were super thin we didn't need to bring the towels from the hotel room, which are your typical white 
um, towels and they're so thick and they take too much space. These were fantastic. We put them in our bags. They were thin, they didn't take any space. And now it's so much easier to just kind of fold them and put them back. Um, so definitely get this, you know, get these. They're amazing. I'll leave the link down below. I absolutely love them. And I love how they have a little hook them as well. So you can hang them to dry or you can just hang them after the chair that you're sitting on or even, um, you know, just put them there. They're really, really fun. Make sure you have something solid on each corner. If you don't want them to fly out, put some sand on the corners and just enjoy them. They are great to travel with. And there you go, guys. Look how thin that is. It's crazy. So small. When it comes to toiletry, I wanted to kind of cover what I bring on a cruise, you guys. And I think this is so important. This is going to make a difference between, you know, you having an enjoyable cruise and one that just you didn't anticipate some things happening that could happen on a cruise and you not being prepared. So let's go through my toiletry. Now, to begin, I wanted to talk about this bag, which I think is superb. This is a bag that you can actually open on the side. It opens and it kind of reveals through a plastic here all of your belongings and your things that you need. And then it also has pockets here that you can put things. I have some stuff here as well. I don't know if you can see. Those are my floss. But you can put brushes and whatnot. This is fantastic. Um, so it kind of like creates a little pocket here and you can add some stuff. Like this is fantastic too if you're, let's say your light is down or just it's not bright enough. This is your little pocket one that you can open so easily by just turning it on right here in the back. And then look at this. Tell me if this is not the cutest little mirror. If you don't like the lights and you can look over here and if you do, and it's over there. So, and it shuts off when you turn it off, but I like to turn it off anyways. Uh, so, so this is great to have in your pocket. I mean, in your bag. Um, secondly, I think what is also wonderful is Tiger Balm. If you guys don't know what that is, it's almost like a Vicks kind of a feeling and smell. Uh, you put it on your temple. So if you are suffering from a really bad headache, this is fantastic. Uh, you open it up, put some on your temple, and it makes you feel so much better. So forget about pills or whatnot. If you don't believe in them, you don't need them, especially with this here. Um, my vitamin um, case, which I think is fantastic, fits so much. Guys, look at this. And it works with a little magnet. So basically, let me put this here. So basically, you can have all of your vitamins. The pockets open pretty easily. All you have to do is push and it opens. Now I have one hand, so it's a little harder, but yeah. So you just push and you put them in and they close very easily. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pockets. Um, there's a label. I've labeled them. You could or not. If you recognize them, that's fine. I like to mix them too. Close them with the magnet, and here you go. I love this casing. It's fantastic, and it fits perfectly in my bag. Um, now, shampoos. We know what those are. I love traveling with mini shampoos. Uh, I have that for an entire week on a cruise. Use them two, three times. Uh, I don't like the shampoo that is provided, so I bring my own. Uh, these are so cute. They're Mondays. I keep the container and add my own shampoo. They are so stackable and so easy to travel with. So this is great as well. Um, I also have that I think is fantastic are these here. The motion patches, you guys. Make sure you bring them on a cruise because sometimes it gets a little rocky. And when it does, you kind of get disoriented. And if you do... Um, just make sure that you put your patches, uh, it is said to put one near your belly area and one right behind your ears. So, um, I haven't opened them. We didn't use them. It was rocky at one point at night, but it was just nice to sleep through that rockiness and just put us to sleep. So we didn't need them, but it's good to have them. Make sure you buy this. I'll leave the link down below of everything that I have here so you guys can get an idea of where to get them. Um, so here is the patches, so make sure to have those. Then I don't leave home without my tahine. I love it. It's a little container, <laughs> super small. I like to put tahine on everything. I know. Uh, make sure you bring your roll aids. All right, I get the soft shoes, so they're easier to take. Uh, you don't need to, but it's good to have, especially if you're eating a lot on a boat. Sometimes you can get carried away. Now, we're talking about dizziness and whatnot. Uh, if you feel drowsy for any reason, you can take these. They're inside. We haven't used them, but um, they are also kid-friendly, so you can give it to your children. If they don't feel well and they 
they're, you know, they have nausea or they feel weird, they can definitely hold on to that and take one or two pills. Um, then I have my Tums here just in case. They're chew bites, so they're friendly, kid friendly as well. So you can have them. I put some of my own as well and I mix them together. Also, I swear by these little personal wipes, you guys. These are fantastic. They are tiny. You can put them in your pocket or in your pouch. Uh, for me, I put them in my purse. And when you need to, you know, if you need some extra wipe, whether it's even just to clean your hands after a meal or um, just need to flush them and I need to, you know, use them for personal reasons. Even for children, when you have diapers that you need to wipe, those are perfect. They're not too thick. They are sold individually um, in a packet that you can buy. And there's probably 30 to 60 in them. And they are wonderful. So I carry them everywhere with me. Uh, next up is my vibrating um, toothbrush. I like the fact that it has a casing. Um, I like the fact that I don't need an extra casing for that. And I'm going to try to open it. And then you can turn it on or off right here. It works with the battery. And um, it's just so much fun. You know, it just protects it. It airs out here. It's good to rinse it once in a while too. But look how it comes. It's so aesthetic. And it's so easy to just carry it around without having your toothbrush touching everything else. My little SPF, which is so cute and so tiny and lasts forever. It's called Force Shield, and it's SPF 30. I love how it's UV defense, um, and it's got broad spectrum, SPF. So I absolutely love it. It's super, super small. Like, it fits in the size of my hand, and I like how I could just put it in my bag and go to the beach, and it doesn't have to be bulky. And I never leave home without my Zircam, which if you feel a little cold coming on or sore throat, make sure you take one or two of these. To, I tell you, they are going to stop your cold immediately. This is fantastic. It has a good taste to it too. It almost looks like like a little orange um, chewable. And it's so great. And it really, really works. So a lot of us take that when we are traveling. Um, now, I never leave home without my cute little deodorant as well. My native, my cucumber and mint is my favorite. So tiny, so cute. I can put it with this in combination with other little, you know, SPF, let's say cream, uh, sun care. And then I can put that and put it in, you know, in the purse and go to the beach and nobody would know uh, that I have that. So, um, I just love it. You know, it doesn't have to be big and it's super tiny and it does what it needs to do. Now, another one for dizziness, you guys, if you're feeling like there's a headache that's coming on and you don't know what to do, definitely get your mint tube. This is a hundred percent pure essential oil. You guys, it's just mint. Uh, but it's the same principle as what they use for medicine. Um, I don't remember the name, but it's one of those nasal spray or nasal breather thing. So you just kind of breathe in uh, one or two times and put it back. And it just helps you with the drowsiness and helps you if you're feeling dizzy on the boat. So it kind of helps you also with headaches. So make sure that you bring your mint. And these are all natural um resources so to speak because if you're not one to take pills so before i take an advil i'll try all of these uh solutions and usually they work i don't have to take any drugs or of any kind so this is a great solution you guys a few more things if you guys feel like you might be in the caribbean or the bahamas or Mexico and you feel like you might get burn or there's a possibility that you burn easily make sure you bring your aloe vera this is almost 100% aloe vera it uh, gets absorbed really quickly you can put it uh, you know in a smaller container such as this one if you want obviously empty uh, but just fill up a little jar and make sure you have your aloe vera to soothe your skin in case you do get burned okay you don't want to go spending a bunch of money on the boat and getting your aloe vera ones you can get it from home uh, just make sure it's a small container uh, and this one is amazing i use it daily uh, just for my face and it does amazing um, it's almost like a miracle worker so recommend these little um, kind of rubbery plastic pouches they seal really well and i usually put two of the washing sheets um, and these are really good too they clean anything that you would like so let me show you so these are so cute you just open them up uh, and then you have a couple of sheets taste take one and throw it in your sink you guys and then you can wash your undies you can wash your socks um, they replace any kind of liquid although we do have the little liquid ones ties that I showed you because my kids like the way they smell and these are very easy to just transport 
I also put them, I put them in here just in case they get wet for whatever reason. I don't want them to get all sticky and weird. Uh, and these are the same. They're sheets, but they're a bit bigger. They separate easy and you can put them in a sink with some warm water. Move the water around and there you go. You have your little personal um, washing machine and you can wash all of your belongings. Last but not least, don't forget your waterproof uh, pocket for the ocean. This is your iPhone or any phone pocket. You open it, you just kind of lift these two tags up like this. Uh, and then it'll open on the side here and once it opens you just put in your phone in here and then once you do you just zip lock it back then lock it in and put it around your neck and I've used this a hundred times really we love to see and to film the fishes under the water we love to film ourselves and make a little video it's so much fun and then you kind of review the video and you're like oh my gosh it's so cool uh, my kids love it we all have one so don't forget don't leave a home without it definitely you can get yours Everything I spoke about is right in here, and it closes so easily, you guys. Even with one hand, I'm still doing it here. And here you go. Look at this. I absolutely love it. It's so easy. You just have everything that you need, from razor to um, toothbrush, toothpaste. Everything is in here that you need. It's, it's fantastic. You even have extra space if you needed to. Um, but definitely uh, get this pouch, you guys. It's so efficient and I get to carry everything that I need, so. I've also um, picked up a few of these plastic, which are um, the plastic containers, which are TSA approved. They are great for the beach too. I put everything that could possibly open, um, you know, in my backpack heading to the beach or also in the plane. So everything that has liquids in that I want to safe keep put them together so it was so easy to just grab and put it straight in my backpack and we went to the beach we used more than that but i just started packing everything but i had my foundation at one point i had some cream for the face i had a lot of stuff here i've just added these now for travel but they were so easy now when i'm done with my face wash in the bathroom my shampoo and conditioner uh, and my soap i'm gonna put them all there and bam everything ready no ziplock no craziness these are great and i think they come in a pack of two or three and they have different sizes but i love this size so you can put everything you need these are definitely they have a double zipper so they zip this way and this way and they've never leaked and if they do leak everything stays within this plastic so this is a must you guys i'll leave the link down below for you to get yours as well another thing that i love you guys are these packing cubes they are wonderful my old ones were these, and I think I advertised these a while back as well. They are awesome. I love them, these ones, a little bit better because they have the double zipper. So not only are you packing as much as you can in them, but then you double zip it, and then it just kind of, you know, compresses the air out, and you just kind of wrap everything in there. Um, I was able to fit literally everything that you see here. Literally everything that you see here has fit in this little tiny uh, compression bag and I'm going to do it now because we're packing uh, but this is incredible how much you can put in there and one of them was for my sandals and my shoes this is so amazing another useful thing that we purchased which is such a lifesaver was these hooks you guys so most of the cabins as you can see are metal so we purchased these hooks you guys and as you can see they stick to everything. Everything is metal here, like literally everything. And so you can, um, my daughter, as you can see, has hooked them all there and put her cell phone there. And she put them at one point on the top there and had her blankie kind of hang. So it made it private. So if you guys have kids and they want their little privacy, they can have a bunch of little hooks that they can kind of hang things. In this case, we won medals and some competitions and my daughter did really well in one of the dancing competition and she received a medal. My other daughter got one too. So we ended up hanging them there. You can hang out all the paperwork that you get as well. And your linear will fit there too. As you can see, we're putting a linear too. So instead of having this craziness right here, <laughs> which is nuts, then you can stay organized and put it on the wall or put it right here and there you go you can just use them everywhere or anywhere i so i have one two three pants four pants here 
two jackets. Okay. One. Okay. Then two sports. Three. Three sports. Three jackets. One, two, three. Three formal outfits. One, two, three, four, five tops. Two bras, sports, and none. Um body shaper and my pajamas all this fit in this little suitcase using the Stop compressed it. oh i have more here i forgot cool i have more here too Damn. Get and i just found one more top here actually two more tops and then i have all my bathing suit my overall um and then another kind of a slinky little outfit to just cover my whole body but this is all that i have in my suitcase that's crazy that little suitcase there's so much that you can fit in there. It's insane. Another thing that we found super useful is the, the plug, you guys. Now, they don't take any type of plug. It has to be a certain type that is ship approved. The one that we got is this one here. It's called the One Beat. All right. Um, and the beauty of it is that it has an extension cord. And you can plug literally just about four to five plugs onto it. Um, as you can see, we got my Apple Watch here. Then we had my charger here uh, because my phone kept on dying and I just had a backup right here to just put behind my phone. And um, we had, um, so this came became a lifesaver because technically we only had one plug. So definitely bring your, um, was it both approved plug or else they will confiscate it if you don't have the right one. And I will leave the link down below for yours. Another thing that we picked up, which what I thought was so cute, is that sometimes we don't have access to the, um, the light. As you can see, some of them are here. Okay. And then, so you have them in the entrance and you have another light kind of like in the middle here between our two beds little one actually right there behind that pillow uh, sometimes we're not close to that in the middle of the night it gets a little confusing um, to see where we're going because it's a new environment we just would open this and then from the dollar store and it would leave such a cute little light into the bathroom so we would know where to go um, and it would light up literally everywhere so if you were to come in this is what it would look like and it would help us to guide us as to where we are going in the bathroom so our bathroom is not too big but again it fit one person at a time for a shower water pressure was great so no complaint there water was hot when you wanted it hot um but this little light lit up the entire room and i loved it i picked this up at the dollar store you guys can get this anywhere literally um i absolutely loved it this was one of the best finds for a dollar we had Elevator to no, yeah. and then she the backpack. Can't... Look how much we can fit here. Sure. All right, I am done. This is what it looks like, you guys. All right, now we got this. Got the other one. This one here. Okay, so everything that I'm gonna need, like as I'm traveling, such as my hat my my glasses my car keys and as well as my passport by the way these are great passport holders you guys as you can see they can carry quite a few and i love how you can leave your boarding passes here or this way like that and you can have any inform important information you can also put a pen in here and have everything that you need ready to go for customs as we disembark so close that up this can be zipped as well, and it's just so easy to transport and have everything handy right in here. I also love how this here carries all of my electronics. So right now I have some plugs in use, but as soon as I'm done, I'm going to put them all here. We've got some extras here. <laughs> and I just close it up, you guys, and zip it up if I need to, and just shove that in here, and then I'm done. There you go, you guys. We're done. This is it. We're all ready to go.
Oh, last thing you guys, I forgot to tell you. Make sure you get these magnets. Um, I got them on Amazon. They are so cute. And like I said, everything is metal and is magnet. So you guys can put them here. We did try the door, but it just would not stick for some reason. <laughs> it kind of did and it kind of didn't. It was just sliding. These are stickers. I don't recommend them because they have glue behind them. So it's going to be a little challenging to remove them. But a lot of people tape stuff. So, um, but we put them right here, right next to our little mail slot of room a 6273. And as you can see, it is so cute. We would just walk by and everybody knew we were celebrating this beautiful birthday girl. <laughs> Love you. Happy birthday last day. We're going to miss it. I know. <laughs> Anyways, they are so cute. We're going to pack them up tonight for tomorrow morning and we'll use them maybe on the next cruise. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, more food. Oh, yay. And this is our beautiful room if you guys want the view of the room. This bunk bed it gets pulled up or pulled down. Uh, this was this little sofa that was turned into a little bed. And this is a tiny bed that I was talking about and how narrow it was. It really is narrow. <laughs> you can't turn, you'll fall right off. So, yeah. Hey, what happened? <laughs> Are you okay? How did you fall? Did you just fall backwards? <laughs> How did you fall backwards? It was so okay? emotion. But she, what like, happened? She like slid backwards. <laughs> How did she do that? Did, did you hit your head? <laughs> also recommend to get this clothesline you guys look at the way we hung it outside it was fabulous we got to hang our bleeding suits and our towels and it dried up right away and there's no chance for it to go overboard you can also put them on the wall get the hooks that i was talking about and hang anything you want from your socks to whatever it is uh, inside your cabin it's fabulous and it's absolutely genius all right, this is the tour, and let's go on the balcony real quick. Not everybody has a balcony. Some balconies are bigger than others. I believe on the other side, they're much bigger. This one is smaller, but guess what? As long as we can step out, relax, and this is a view of our balcony on the sixth floor. Um, again, we're in Ensenada. We are waiting to leave, which is shortly because everybody needed to be back by 4 30 and it is 5 so everyone is back and they're gonna start sailing it is super cold today um, the water was heated in the pool upstairs so that was fun the girls were able to slide and do the crazy water slide on top here and be in the heated pool for a little bit so now that we're back we're gonna get ready and we're gonna go to dinner so this is our view before leaving and we're gonna say goodbye to Encinita and I hope you guys enjoy my quick, quick video here of the Carnival Cruise and, you know, little tips and tricks on how to pack, what to bring, what to expect. And again, I've done my research and kind of added my own opinions and you guys do what you need to do, what works for you and your family, whether you're cruising on your own with family members or just a friend, you guys are going to find anything that you need on the ship. It is quite expensive, but you will need anything, you know, everything that you need, whether it's a candy, a massage, or even just medicine, they have everything here, but obviously at an expensive cost. But if you bring everything from home and you anticipate things and you have it all here, then it's gonna save you a lot of money in the long run. So, hope you guys enjoy this video and uh, enjoy the view here. And thank you for cruising with me uh, one last time on my last day kind of sad but um it was such a great adventure but it is time to head back and sleep in my own bed <laughs> all right guys love you all and i'll see you on my next adventure bye